Nani notes. Come on, everybody, say hi to Nani. Good morning. All right, we're going to do a matrix multiplication. Matri this is going to be our first matrix multiplication. Let's get serious. We're going to take <clears throat> we're going to take the first matrix, which is a two by three matrix. We're going to multiply it by a three by four matrix, and the product is going to be a two by four matrix. Well, you'll watch. Watch, grasshopper. Whenever you're multiplying a matrix, you take the dimensions like this. You're going to cross off those two in the middle. What's left, the two and the four, that's the product matrix. Matrix. It does well, but we haven't done the multiplication yet. Then comes the fun part. So let's start. We have to multiply each row times each column. And of course, when I say row, this is a row. Each row times each column. You can only multiply. Guys, focus. You can only multiply a matrix if the number of elements in the row of the first matrix matches the num <clears throat> number of elements in each column of the second matrix. Well, we're, oh, oh, I'm going to show you what it looks like. I want you to visualize this, so let me move this guide out of the way. But we're going to multiply a row times the column. So. Let's suppose I take this row like this, and I rotate it. Oh, whoop, whoop, messed up. We're going to do this again. Whoa, like that. I'm going to rotate it this way. Okay? And I'm, I'm, in other words, I am going to multiply each member of that row. I'm going to multiply the 2 times 3. What's 2 times 3? 6. Three, uh, what's ne or 3 times negative 2? negative 6, and I'm combining them all. 4 times 1. Four. Now, since I've, I've rearranged, I've moved these numbers over here, I've got 6 minus 6, 0, plus 4, I get 4. And the product goes right there. If I look at the product matrix, remember, this is the first row, first column. So it goes in that location, first row, first column. Don't worry. We'll get the hang of it. We'll do a couple more. Watch this. We'll do another one. We'll do another one. Take the first row, multiply it by the second column. So I'm just going to move these numbers over. When you're multiplying a row times a column, you're multiplying these all these pairs of elements. Help me out. Neg or negative 1 times 2. Negative 2. Negative two plus, um, plus 6 plus 0. Do you see it? So again, I end up with 4. Ah. And that is the first row times the second column. So it goes in the 1, 2 position. See, and, and if you miss this, you'll have to get it on 90 notes. Woof. So, third, so here we go. First row, third column. 4 times 2, 8. Negative 9 and 28. 8, negative 9, it's negative 1. 28, you get 27. All right, it's two, 4 times 2 is 8, right? Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. 7 times 4 is 28. You combine them all together. Well, no, you're adding them all together, all the elements. That's a positive 8 a plus. Ne a ne plus a negative 9. So you're now down to negative 1 plus a 28. So you're, at, you're back to 27. Simple. So you're just adding up the three products. That's all right. We'll do one more. One more. So now, first row times the fourth column or last column. Negative 10 plus 3, plus 12. Oh, 5. So close. Bailey, Bailey. You'll get the next one. All right. That's okay. All right. Now, let's... Now, that's that gives us our first row. Let's check out the second. Let's take the second row. And I'm going to do the same thing. I want to visualize... I want to visualize taking these numbers in that first, second row, and rotating them vertically. 
visualize that, and then you're multiplying each of the blue times each of the magenta. Three <coughs> plus four plus zero. Do you see it? Three plus, three plus four is seven. Three plus four is seven plus zero. It can it can be negative. All right, and we've got customers, so we'll be very quick. I'm sure they'll let us. I'm sure they'll let us get through this. You can come on in, ladies. We're just going to finish up this lesson. Negative one, negative one, negative four, and zero. Negative five. So that answers the previous question. Yes, an element can be negative. And one more, or we have two more, and we're done. So four. Four min uh, negative six and yeah, zero. Four positive six. That's That's four. That is a positive six. Sorry, I, uh, you may not have been able to see it because that was that was neg negative three times negative two, so it's positive six. Well, just in a minute. And our last one, and then we'll call it good. That's gonna be. We've got negative. <clears throat> Negative 5 there, negative 2, and 0. And, of course, that's going to give us... And that, that's going to conclude... Naughty notes. Naughty notes for the day. All right, so you catch, it on, catch us on YouTube. Yeah, Naughty.